it's Helen from Journal With Purpose and welcome to my latest video. I'm really excited about this one. This is a collaboration uh, that has been hosted by Joey Defee as part of a big video hop and it's all about fast flow stitching or free motion stitching on a sewing machine. I've never done this before, but one of the things I thought I'd do is I'm gonna try and incorporate this into my altered book. If you watched my last video, I set some intentions for it and it was to try out different techniques and not to be afraid of things going wrong. I'm slightly afraid of things going wrong, but we're gonna try and have some fun with this. So I've got some fabric ready and I thought it'd be really nice on my next pages to include some of this fast flow stitching onto my journal pages. There's loads of brilliant YouTubers taking part in this. I think I'm probably actually the last person to release the video, so I've had the benefit of seeing some of the amazing things that they've done. So I'm gonna leave everybody's channels linked down below. So I'm gonna get the sewing done first because I think then I'll be hopefully a little bit, little bit more relaxed. So I'm gonna set my sewing machine up and hopefully get the camera kind of in a direction so that you can see what I'm doing. So I hope this angle is gonna be okay for you to see what I'm doing. Now one of the first things I had to do was get help with how I could even use my sewing machine for this. It's a really old sewing machine. You might be able to tell it's yellow. It's absolutely ancient, but it works really well. So the first thing I've got to do is remove the foot. And I had to ask for some help from the other people taking part of this collaboration. And one of the things that was recommended to me was using a darning plate so that I can cover these teeth here, which are what actually guides the fabric and I need the fabric to be able to move around freely. So I'm gonna pop my darning plate on there. And I've really enjoyed just sort of having a go, making sure, you know, learning how to use my sewing machine for something completely different. So we'll see how we get on with this. So I'm just gonna pop my fabric in. What I'm hoping to do is sew a really loose kind of flower shape. So the first thing I've done is just make sure that I've pulled the thread to underneath the fabric. And now hopefully I should just be able to sew my shape, say I'm very new at this, so I'm not expecting anything brilliant, but just something fun and new to have a go at. Okay, so now I've finished that, I'm really happy actually with my little whimsical flower. It's definitely not perfect, but I really like that and I love the freedom of being able to play with something different on my sewing machine. And what I would now like to do is I think I'd like to mount that onto a tag. So I'm gonna cut this out, change my feet back over and then sew it straight onto that tag so I can use it in my journal. Okay, so I've now got that sewn on to the tag. So I'm now going to just move the camera around and get back to creating in my journal. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is actually add some color to my little imperfect flower. And I had a go at this on some of my practice ones and I was quite surprised at how well the watercolor showed up on here. I had to more or less take it sort of directly from the pan so that it was nice and pigmented. But I thought that would be really nice little addition to my fast flow stitching. And I really like the idea of this of being able to sort of make up different decorations for my tags or do this straight onto paper and then paint onto there. 
but I've got quite a few different sort of scraps of fabric lying around and it's definitely inspired me to see what else I can do with my sewing machine because I tend to only really do the basics and when Joey first said that this was the challenge I must admit I had a few days if not longer thinking I just don't know if I'm going to be able to do this this might be one of the collaborations that I actually turned down but I then decided I didn't want to be defeated and say so this sewing machine is so so old but I know that there's so many things you can do with sewing machines and so I just usually tend to do either the straight lines sewing something together perhaps zigzag stitch but I don't tend to do anything too creative with it and I love the thought actually of being able to sew out a few designs not worry about if they're perfect at all but it's definitely another lovely way to be able to create some ephemera for our journals so I could have just sewn straight on to this tag definitely definitely check out the other youtubers that are taking part because there's been some incredible ideas that i've seen on there and i definitely want to be having a go at some of the things that other ladies have tried i thought it was brilliant so a lovely idea to be involved in and here now as we're going to start moving towards some of those cooler months I think that working in my altered book, being able to try a few different things with my sewing machine, I think it's kind of the, the perfect time. I'm hoping this altered book is something I can do quite a lot of now once the weather starts getting a bit cooler and we're going, you, know, you kind of can't really go out so much in the evenings because it's all dark. So I think it's going to be a lovely kind of project to work on. And I mentioned last time that I want this altered book to kind of have a nature botanicals floral type theme to it so it seemed right for me to try and have a go at doing a flower on this tag but I noticed some of the other ladies were just doing far kind of like wilder more abstract sewing and I absolutely loved that so I think that's something I'd like to have a go at as well but so that's my flower painted. And so I'm really happy with how well that watercolor is showing on that fabric. I'm gonna put that aside to dry for just a moment. And I also want to add some of the same colors that I've been using onto this page here as a background. So I'm gonna create a bit more of a wash with this and add that all over my page. And it's quite nice because I did say with this book I wanted to try all sorts of different things. This has kind of been the perfect start for me in doing something I've never actually done before with my sewing machine. And it kind of sets the tone for making sure that I'm not treating this as anything too kind of precious as in that I can't risk making mistakes in but I think it will be precious in terms of the hopefully what it documents over the coming months of trying out new techniques and just kind of playing around exploring new ideas I've mentioned I want to do quite a lot of kind of art journaling in here as well which may well be the page that I do after this I might do some art journaling in it we'll see how we go I want to add lots of pockets and tags and all kinds of interactive elements perhaps some things I haven't tried before I want to also have a go at maybe doing something with pop-ups in here as well so that's something for me to kind of have a play around with that's not that's something I've not done in my journals before so I think that would be say just a book to try out lots of things that some of them may not be perfect but I'm hoping that by the end of this book It'll kind of have lots of inspiration and ideas for me to try it again and you know, perhaps learn from and improve. So I'm just getting those paints down. I've used the two main colours that I used in my on my flower. Okay, so before I go any further, I'm just gonna dry off this page properly along with my flower and then start moving on to the next stage. 
So the next thing I'm going to do is use some Tim Holtz Distress Spray Stain in brushed pewter and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that over this right hand page. And while that's drying, I'm going to use this stencil. It doesn't quite fit, it's an old one, but I'm just gonna get as much of it as I can over that left-hand page. And I'm gonna use the Distress Oxide in Shaded Lilac with an ink blending tool. So I'm trying to just kind of stick with the same colors that I used on this flower to try and make the pages kind of tie in together. I had thought that probably all of this book would end up being more neutral colors, kind of autumn themed, but we've actually just had some really sunny days again. They were a bit unexpected where they were for me anyway. And I kind of like to reflect those colors in my journal pages. But so I imagine after after this late little sunny spell we've had, I'll probably be going back more into kind of some of the neutral colours and browns and oranges as we move into the into the autumn. So I'm just pressing this through. I'm not worried about the print coming through perfectly from this stencil because they're quite small, the dots on here. But I do want kind of a nice impression of those florals. I'm going to be putting some paper on top of here anyway but I just wanted to make sure I've got kind of something a little bit florally on this page too. So I'm just going to get some of that second one as well hopefully on here and take it as close up to the inside of that where the washi tape strip is. just to kind of give a hint of florals on the both pages in that same colour. Okay, have a quick look at that. Okay, yeah, that's come through absolutely fine. I'm just gonna give this now another really quick dry just to make sure that that spray stain is, hasn't got any kind of wet marks on it. I want to include this little tag in a pocket and I just wanted a small corner pocket because I want to make sure that most of that is still showing. I think this printable came from Pink Monarch Prints because I've cut up lots of them. I'm, I'm not entirely sure which is which, but I think this one was from her shop. So I'm gonna use a little bit of print stick on the corners. Just pop that down here. And hopefully that should slot in there nicely so I can still see lots of that coming out. And I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of washi tape as well along the corner edges just to make sure it's nice and secure. Next, I wanna add this little quote. This is from my Patreon printables. I always put some kind of sayings in things in there. And I thought saying yes to new adventures would be perfect to tie in with this fast flow stitching attempt. So I'm just gonna cut that up a bit and glue them down here. And I wanted to keep that right page kind of reasonably simple so that I've got my stitching is the main thing on there. So when I look back through these pages, I remember kind of what this was all about. I can already sense this book is gonna be an adventure in itself for me. I've been learning as I go. And I really like that, just 
playing around with a few new things to kind of see what I like doing and what works well. And I'm gonna draw some outlines around those to make sure they stand out a little bit along the printed background. So just doing some really loose lines all the way around them. If you do have a go at fast flow stitching and you're on Instagram, please do tag me in. I'd absolutely love to see what you've created and what ideas you come up with. I think there's just so many options with this. So please do tag me in. I'd love to see and just, I think I'm gonna keep playing myself over the next couple of months. On this page, I'm gonna glue down this coffee dyed paper. I think I'm gonna use the paler side because I want to create a writing spot over here. And I'm gonna put it over the top of the stenciling, but kind of over the stems of the flowers so that I've still got those nice details coming out at the top. So I'm gonna put that here. And I mentioned in my last video, I'd recently got the Botanist's Sticker Anthology off Amazon. And I'd quite like to add some of these stickers, perhaps some little butterflies and some florals. I was looking for something that perhaps ties in more with this purpley color, which I haven't got as much of. So I think this one here would look really nice. I'm gonna pop that one down there. And I really like some of these little butterflies and insects. I think I might go for a dragonfly at the top. and then add one more perhaps over here. So now I've got the decoration done, I'm gonna add a little bit of journaling on here. One thing I found with this book is that it's can be a bit more difficult to write on because of the fact it kind of bounces around at the moment because we're missing so many pages. So I'm just gonna pop something else underneath there and start off by just adding my heading using a Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen with a firm nib. So now I've got that done, I'm just gonna add a quick little bit of journaling about what being involved in this kind of collaboration and trying new things means to me. So that's my journaling now done. I've just written, I was quite nervous about taking part in this collab as I haven't tried fast flow stitching before, but it's been so much fun. I've learned something new and can't wait to try out some new ideas I now have for my journals too. 
So I want to say a massive thank you to Joey for organising this and inviting me. So, so please do check out Joey's video and everybody else that's taking part that will be linked in my video description down below. I really hope you've enjoyed it and that you'll give it a go too. And as always, I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's joined me over on Patreon. I hope you're doing really, really well. Thank you ever so much for watching. I look forward to speaking with you really soon in my next video.